in the indian culture a wise man has always been given preference to a warrior such was the case of rajarshi vishwamitra he had performed several arduous tapasyas he was the son of king gadhi once upon a time leading a vast army over land rivers and mountains he arrived at the ashram of maharishi vashishth somehow in the presence of the maharishi he felt small although he was a great king vashishth ashram was rich in flowering plants creepers and large trees different types of animals freely wandered at any given point of time several tapasvis performing tough penance lived in the ashram while vishwamitra writes valmiki humbly bowed before vashishth the latter welcomed him in a manner suitable for a king and offered him argya and fruit he told the maharishi that your treasury is full that you take care of your people in order to keep them happy you look after your servants and employees so that they are well paid and well fed vasisht looked after vishwamitra with the help of his cow kamdhenu he asked her for an arrangement for delicious meals succulent fruit nourishing grains sugar cane honey fruit juices grape juices spices he ordered thousands of silver plates and served vasisht mouth watering meals the king was amazed his greed for possession got better of him he told his host brahmarshi i shall present you with a 100000 cows in exchange for this spotted kamadhenu as a king i am entitled to any valuable property and this cow is one such she is mine as a matter of right vasishth replied in the negative he said i shall not exchange this cow even for a million other cows or for that matter any other object in the universe vishwamitra raised the barriers i shall give you 14000 elephants with golden carriages their necklaces and goats too will be of gold i shall give you 800 chariots burnished in gold vasishth declined a great battle ensued Vishwamitra's forces destroyed the property of the ashram. However, Kamdhenu created warriors who overcame the king's forces. Vishwamitra was humbled like an ocean whose waves subside after stormy weather. Mark the language Valmiki used. Vishwamitra felt like a defanged cobra. He lost luster like the sun in eclipse. However, he did not give up easily he did tough penance to please lord shankara the latter blessed him with divine missiles and weapons he returned to destroy the ashram of vishnu vashisht once again however he was no match for the brahma rishi who had dharma on his side righteousness always conquered force in our scriptures the guru was invincible vishwamitra started his penance again this became a dangerous situation his unending cycle of tapasya worried indra that the king might succeed in dethroning him mind you in our scriptures indra is frightened of every such person so he asked menaka one of the celestial beauties to descend and win over the tapasvi king's affections 
she came to pushkara teerth where vishwamitra was sitting on meditation as she prepared for a bath her body glistened like lightning the rishi found her irresistible he invited her to come over to his ashram and live with him kamadev has conquered me o beauty come and oblige me said vishwamitra well menaka was there to oblige him she readily agreed she lived for 10 years still although his tapasya was interrupted he had not forgotten the status of brahmarishi vashishth indra again disturbed his penance because was vishwamitra was doing more and more penance at last vishwamitra saw through indra's game plan writes valmiki he suspected the motive behind rambhas another apsara sent to inveil him melodious singing cooing of the coil and the flowers blooming in such a bundan vishwamitra considered the situation he repented his anger and lustful thoughts he thought krodh has once again interrupted my tapasya my mind is not at peace i determined that henceforth i shall never be angry nor give in to lustful thoughts i shall stay silent till i succeed he started his penance again at last brahma came to help him brahma is one god in the indian python of gods who gets pleased easily and he grants wishes which later on bring unintended consequences brahmarshi i bless you you have attained the status of a brahmin through your tough penance i grant you long life you are free to travel anywhere like the gods of wind i guarantee your welfare you will always be happy and blessed vishwamitra bowed in the presence of brahma and greeted all the devatas and rishis accompanying the father of the world humbly he said with your blessings i have been granted the status of a brahmin and a long life i request the four vedas to accept me as such further brahmaputra vasishth should acknowledge this fact his acceptance would be my fulfillment writes valmiki in conclusion vasishth obliged by reaching the spot where the rajarshi was sitting in penance the rajarshi worshiped vasishth and asked for his blessings since then vishwamitra also has been known as a brahmarshi jai ram ji ki